Hey there, this is Josh, and in this video I want to show you how to edit Google Hangout videos using very simple software. You can use any software you want, and if you're watching this, I'm going to show you the basic format that we like, and then you can decide how you do it. So first of all, we start in YouTube, and if you edit for us, I'm going to give you access to our YouTube login page. So for this, we're going to work with this client, which is semiconnectorstore.com, and if you go to their page, and you click on videos. So first things first, you go to youtube.com. You make sure you're logged in as the client. You click down here and you go to Creator Studio up in the upper right. Then you click on Video Manager. And then you click on the videos, which are already clicked on. You pick the video that we've already uploaded. Sometimes it's not public. I clicked right here, I clicked the down button and clicked download MP4, which is the video file, which is rare. If you after you shoot a Google Hangout, you can actually download the video file. So that's step one. Once it's downloaded on your computer, it looks like this. Okay. Welcome to the semiconductorstore.com. And I can I can play it and stuff. So here's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna open up, we're gonna go over to a um, the the easiest way I've found to do graphics is to use this software called Google Presentations and just to create the put the client's logo here put the text that we want we'd probably create this for you and I put a nice little line here some of our other stuff we we do this um, we put the client's logo and then a word here so we're in this case we're gonna do this and what I've done is actually screen grab this full size really nice and I made it really big I have a large computer monitor so if you do this um, I go, you can grab, you can do anything you want, but there's a very careful piece of software where you can uh, screen grab this high, very high quality and then save it, and it looks like this. If I were to show it to you, it would actually, first things first. Okay, so it looks like this when I screen grab it. Okay, so we've got that. That looks really nice. And then what we're going to do is take that, and we're going to go over to Movie Maker. Now you could have the Windows version, the, the Macintosh version, it doesn't matter, Apple, these are all the same thing. It's different, but it's the same thing. We're going to drag that over into the browse area, okay? Boom. So that was step one. Step two is if you edit for us, I'm going to give you access to our music files. And the get up and go, I think, is the one that we want to play here. That's not it. There's uh, music files that high school rock theme. I think this is going to be the the start, the one that we want to use. So we're going to drag that over. Um, maybe it doesn't like that actually. High school. There we go. I'll give you access to this. We're going to drag that over. Boom. And I'll show you how to deal with that here in a minute. And then the the next thing, the downloads um, the Wi-Fi smart plug. We're going to grab what we downloaded with the video and put it at the end. So we've put in three things here, basically, and it's, and then it has to think for a short while. Now, if you're overseas, you can download all these files and work on them, and then you're going to re-upload them to YouTube eventually. So when we're done, I'm going to have you click the Upload button in the upper right, and then upload this video unlisted, okay, unlisted. So let's go ahead and get to work here real quick and work on this. So back over to the editing thing. Now, this audio, you can't hear it, but I like to, I'll give you samples of other stuff. Um, and I can't hear it right now, I'm not sure why, but um, basically the this audio, it, I think it's still working, that's why it's loading the data. Um, I like to work on the gain span thing, what I do first is I find a good in for the audio, which is usually right about here. And the reason I do that is because control Z. I want I want my intro to be without the hangouts on air. So let's go ahead and play it. You see how right I come in right about there. Then what I do is I right click when I'm clicked on there and I set the start, set it as the start point. So it chops off just this little first part. So we're going to chop that off by going to my first frame, set as the start point. Great, so that looks good. Now next thing, next thing, um, and I'm, once again I'm not sure why the audio just decided not to work for the first time ever on this, uh, but you get the idea. I'll, I'll click on here, um, I will click 
when you double when you click on this one you can click on animations for this and sometimes I'll actually do it that way watch how the animation comes in that's very basic um, I think that's as advanced of an animation as I would ever want it could fade in and then this one I usually animate and I bring it in as a fade and with a fade you click click down to here and click on this one right here boom okay so we go from there and then we fade in and then we just have to make sure the audio works. Now once again, for the first time ever in my whole life, the audio decides not to work at this moment, which I'm not sure as to why that is happening, but we will uh, figure this out at a later date. Um, yeah, and so I'm gonna tr go ahead and, and as you can see right here, we just make sure that the audio looks good, uh, uh, that the first part of it is starts, and I think it starts right about here. And I could be wrong. You have to listen to it and make sure and set the start point. The goal is that by the time I start talking, that this audio is right about here. So I'm actually going to have to start it a little bit sooner, like right about there. Set start point. It has to sound good too. And then if you double click on the audio and you click on music tools, you can fade it in medium. And then this one, you don't have to fade out at all. So then we have on the beginning this. Um, let's go file, save, save project as, or save it, and we're going to put it in the Dropbox. If I give you access to the Dropbox, at least you'll know how to do this, and we'll put it in the, in the symmetry semiconductor store. So we'll do this, uh, symmetry semiconductor store videos. They're the same thing, and we'll do, um, Gain span Wi-Fi module video or something like that. Okay, so here's the project, and I'm not once again I'm not sure why the, the none of the music works. First time ever. That's just how it works, I guess. Things go wrong. Um, so what I'm going to actually do is close this here real quick and open it up. Uh, we're going to try and just open it up one more time here and just see if that works. Videos, my videos, but because we saved the project we can open it up and see if it's going to work, which it doesn't. But you get the idea. So that's the beginning and it'll look good, looks really nice, and then let's go down to the end. Here's what I like to do. Thank you so much. Boom. And then I'm going to go to the last frame and remove the hangouts on air part. Go back into that last frame right click set endpoint we're gonna go control and then what I do is I click on the control button or I go control C go control C go down to that end down there and go control V and it'll actually throw it it'll throw your stuff down at the end um, control Z actually we might have to just uh, control grab and drag so I'll go down to the end you have to be careful and put it at the end um, because otherwise it will cut it off and I'm Josh, we'll see you in the next video. Uh, I need to make sure that I didn't cut something off because sometimes when you drag it over another thing it'll actually cut it off so let's just make sure we do that. Hopefully this is making sense and then what we'll do is we'll export this so just drag it to the end, boom, great. You can change the you can change the transition. You can change the duration of this. I keep it as seven seconds, but if the audio doesn't sound right, you could actually double click on this one and turn it into nine seconds at the beginning, which would move this back and make all that perfect. Um, at the very end, we can double click on this and we can change the animation that it has down to 0.5 so that you can see the end of me. It's actually playing audio. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Boom. And it goes over to GainSpan product application evaluation kit and then at the very very end uh, I like it when it fades to black so let's go ahead and do another little trick that I'll show you at the end at the very very end you click the home button you insert a title at the end now it inserted it before so we have to drag it over to the end insert title text here I actually am going to delete that title text down at the bottom I'm going to click on the black and I'm going to click on app uh, animations and we're going to have that animation click this one which is the crossfade boom and then make sure that that crossfade is uh, probably one second or less so now we have boom Gainspan Wi-Fi smart plug application 
development kit and it goes back to black and then this is about seven seconds long now the one thing that we're missing here is going up and grab this music uh, press the control button down while you are dragging it and this seems to be the best way to do this so grab I grab the control button I'm dragging it I'm releasing my mouse uh, control Z uh, let's do that I'm not sure what I just did so I'm, I'm clicking on it once I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. I'm clicking on it once, like I said, and I'm going to grab it, and I'm going to, boom, release. And, and I released my mouse click before I released the other one. And then I drag it in here just so um, you ha it takes a little bit of work, but you get the idea. And uh, this starts back up nice and slow. And that's pretty much it, my friend. And then it takes a little while, and my audio doesn't work that great, but we'll fix this and perfect it and reboot the computer, and I'm going to then upload it. Now, one of the cool tricks is you can go, you file and you save the project and put it on the Dropbox. The next thing is save the movie, and I like to do it for high-definition display, and I like to save it uh, back on the Dropbox or wherever, on your computer, you can save it wherever you want. Uh, I do it uh, in back on our drive, Gainspan Y, so save, and it saves it, and it starts uploading, or doing, doing its thing. Now, the thing that I want you to look at is that uh, we are going to go to, um, we're going to go to YouTube, remember, and I told you if you log into our client, and if we give you access, you can upload it, and you could actually drag it. It must be unlisted, and... Uh, make sure you is before you drag something on there that it says unlisted. I do not want it to go public. I don't want you to publish it. Okay, just to make sure. Okay, and that's it. And once it's unlisted, then you can email and and it'll upload automatically once you have your file and all that good stuff. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know. But basically, let's just review what we've covered. We will give you the um, we'll give you a, you can go in and. We'll create the slide. We might even send this to you, and, and we'll send you the music, and we'll give you access to the video. And then you can go in and edit it, so we'll probably send you the slide for each one. And you'll put the slide on the beginning. Some of them at the end, you'll put the same slide, and then we'll do another one, a second slide. So in the beginning, we'll have... Um, let me show you an example of that. It'll have slide number one at the, at the beginning, and then at the end, it'll have the same slide for seven seconds, and then at the, the next seven seconds, it'll say join our next events or something like that. So we may have dual slides at the end with a very small crossfade or just a cut in between them. So hopefully all that makes sense. And uh, I have to obviously go and watch this. I'm only doing this for uh, to show you how it works. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.